Hi there! Today I'll show you how to make a grilled cheese sandwich my way. I like to use potato sandwich bread since it is soft and tastes delicious. I start by putting a bit of spreadable butter on each piece of bread. You don't need a lot, you just want a bit of it to cozy up in there with the cheese. It doesn't really matter if you don't spread it all out, you just want to make sure that you don't damage the bread. When it comes to cheese, I like to use a medium aged clover cheese. And after you embarrassingly struggle to open the wrapping on the cheese, you want to cut off the waxy paper on each end of the cheese. It just doesn't taste good. And you want just enough thick slices to cover up one of the pieces of toast completely. You can then scatter any leftovers on top. If you have some leftover ham or some other salted meat that plays well with cheese, you can add it here if you want. For this I like using a normal nonstick Teflon pan. You can add some salt here if that's your thing. You can now assemble your sandwich. And add a knob of butter to the pan. Next, make sure to find the nastiest and oldest spatula you have. Once the butter has melted, you can put your sandwich in the pan. I like to cook one side in high heat and use residual heat for the other side. Once we are confident that our bread has gotten some nice heat, you want to find a small cup and put some water in it. Once the bottom side has gotten a nice toasty color, you can flip it. We add some of the water to the pan and put a lid on top so it can steam, thus melting the outer cheese faster. You want to add very little water. If you add too much, your sandwich will become a soggy mess. Then, when it's done, you can take the sandwich out of the pan and carefully cut it without crushing it. And now, prepare for the beautiful cheesy crust section. You can add a sprinkle of salt on top if that's your thing. And done! Serve with a large glass of milk. Thanks for watching. If you have something that you would like to see me make, then feel free to say so in the comments.